Hello, blustery showers ease on Wednesday nights, leading to a frost for many on Thursday morning before more unsettled weather returns throughout the rest of Thursday. Plenty of showers out there on Wednesday evening, however, some flakes of snow over the higher ground, but also some more persistent rain just edging into the south for a time during the early hours before that pulls away. The showers elsewhere tend to ease still quite a number for the Northern Isles and the north of the mainland, but a gap across many central and northern parts of the, the mainland and with lighter winds as well, well, we're going to see a frosty night. Temperatures dipping to minus three or minus four Celsius in some of the colder spots, closer to zero elsewhere by and large. And it looks like it's going to be a bright start with that early morning chill. But, well, the sunshine doesn't last long. You can see by 8 a.m., rainfall is returning from the southwest. Now this relatively narrow band of showery rain will affect Glasgow into the Western Isles during the morning period, pushing into Edinburgh late morning, and then it spreads into central and northern areas, bumping into the cold air, leading to some snow over higher parts, uh, predominantly above four or 500 metres. Most of the settling snow, I suspect, will be above 500 metres, perhaps affecting some of the very highest routes but otherwise at lower levels it's rain. It's accompanied by a strengthening southwesterly breeze, particularly towards the west, and it's soon replaced by showers. So it's not going to be raining everywhere all day. There'll be gaps in between the wet uh, weather, but uh, after that bright start it does turn increasingly unsettled. And it's going to feel cold with the rain moving in. Temperatures of 3 or 4 Celsius in the north, 8 or 9 further south, so not far from average for the time of year. But it's also turning increasingly windy. Let's take a look at the winds as they strengthen across western Scotland in particular. Gales developing during the evening through the west coast and then those gale force winds pushing into the southwest by the uh, late evening period. And wind gusts of 50, 60 miles per hour are definitely a possibility. The strongest winds then overnight spread into the Irish Sea. Low pressure pulling away, and for Friday, it's a blustery day with north to northwesterly winds and uh, frequent showers, but also some brighter skies in between. So, Friday itself starts off with a lot of cloud, quite frequent showers coming in from the north and the northwest, and you can see the flakes of snow there falling over higher ground. But there'll be some gaps in between the showers, particularly later in the day, and especially for central and west, uh, eastern parts of the country, some sunshine coming through. Some of the showers, though, will be organised into bands to give perhaps longer spells of rain at times in the west. 7 or 8 Celsius in the south, 4 to 6 further north. Temperatures not far from average, but it looks like into the weekend there is a change on the way. Initially, it's a change to wetter weather on Saturday as a band of rain yet again moves in. But once that clears away, Temperatures take a downward dive through Sunday and into Monday. Winds coming from the north, quite frequent showers coming in from the north as well. And with the colder air in place, there'll be some wintriness associated with those showers. Find out more by following the Met Office on social media.